teacher. One, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me, Luis? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh, no se le voy a olvidar los, repasar los números ordinales. Excelentoso. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me let me get ready with the with the material. Okay, this class is number sixteen, right? You need number four. Unit number four. And let me share this with you right, right now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new class. Today is October 16th. This class is number 16, right? Uh, the topic is how to use preposition of place. This is the topic, right? Preposition of place. Last time we were learning how to use preposition of time. But this time we're going to learn about places, location, right? This is the class number 16. Okay. Let's begin. Luis, can you read the objective, please, for tonight? Okay. Describe the location of my, of me and others' workplace. Mm -hmm. In this case, when I say of my workplace, right? And about the others' workplace. Welcome, Paola. Welcome, Alejandro. Okay. Before to start, we're going to learn about some places in the city, right? Some places in the city. Pay attention. A bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall, a clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store. It's not toy story, right? It's toy store, right? <laughs> okay, a park, a dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel, a supermarket, a convenience store, a travel agency, a church. Good. Now listen again for the second time and repeat this. Listen and repeat. A bank. A restaurant. A pharmacy. You can also say drugstore, right? Pharmacy. A school. A school. A bookstore. A taxi stand. A mall. A closed store. An electronic store. A fire station. A police station. A shoe store. 
a toy store. A park. A dry cleaners. A gas station. A hotel. A supermarket. A convenience store. A travel agency. A church. Good. Let's practice reading, right? Uh, Luis, can you read the first group of places, please, for the class? And let's check it out pronunciation. Come on. Okay. A bank. A restaurant. A pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall. Excellent. Also, Luis, congratulations. Good reading. Okay, Paola, please, the second group. Okay. A clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store, a park. Thank you, Paola. Now listen, uh, when we say store, we say only the S, right? Listen. Store. Store. Excellent. Very good. Oh, station. Station. Mm -mm -mm, no. Station. Station. Excellent. A student. A student. Mm -mm -mm. Student. A student. A student. No, no, eh, no. Only student. Student. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Eh, the last one, Steven. Steven. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> good pronunciation. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, eh, Alejandro, please, can you read the last group? Of places. Uh, a dry cleaner, a uh, gas station, a uh, hotel, a uh, supermarket, a uh, convenience store, a uh, travel agency, a uh, church. Very good, Alejandro. Nice. Okay, good. But remember the pronunciation of hotel, hotel, hotel. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, can you give me some examples in San Salvador or in El Salvador, right, of banks, for example? Can you give me one name of a bank in El Salvador? Everybody, come da on. La Vivienda. La Vivienda. Good. Restaurant? Los Tres Cerditos. Oink, oink. Okay, a pharmacy. Economica. Economica, very good. A school. Could be Liceo Salvadoreño, Colegio Guadalupano, Inframen. Those are schools, right? Those are high school, but those are schools, right? Uh, can you tell me the name of a bookstore in El Salvador? La Ceiba. La Ceiba, La Casita, right? Very good. A mall? There are many malls in El Salvador now, right? Walmart. Wal no, no, a mall is a commercial center. Walmart is a supermarket, right? Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo, correct. Uh, yesterday I went to uh, to Galeria Escalón, right? And in front we have uh, the new building. It's, uh, what is the name of the place? Millennium uh, Plaza. Millennium Plaza. Yes, it's excellent. I recommend, right? If you want to go to commercial center, this is good. Good, right? Now a closed door. 
Pier Cardan. Pier Cardan, Simán, Sambors, Saras, etc. Ber Bershka, <laughs> etc., etc., right? Electronic store in El Salvador. Electrónica 2001. Excellent, right? Radio eh, Chac. Radio Chac. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Eh, a shoe store. Lee Choo's. <laughs> Lee Choo's. <laughs> nice. A toy store. Juguetón. Juguetón. It's the most popular, right? A park. El Principito. El Principito. Nice. Very good. En Antiguo, right? Eh, also, Parque Juguetón is really nice, yes. Okay, uh, a dry cleaners. Jet cleaner, for example, right? Jet cleaners and we have other, well, that's the only one I remember. A gas station. Puma. Puma, nice. A hotel. Hilton Princess. The Hilton, very good. A supermarket. Sorry? Oh, let's see Walmart. Walmart, yes, Walmart, very good. Very good. Give me a second. Okay, continue, please. Sorry. A convenience store? I don't know the name, but those are the mini supermarket we have in the gas station in Puma, Texaco. I don't remember the name, but it says a travel agency. Le Café. Ah. Travel no, a in taca. convenience store. Ah, convenience. Le Café. Yes, it's true. I remember now. <laughs> yes, a travel agency. Taka. Taka. Eh, agencia de viajes Camilla, etc. Church, Evangelic, Catholic, Mormon, all the religion. Catedral. Catedral. Okay, Catedral San Salvador is a church, right? Good. That's it. Those are examples and those are places we find in a city, right? Now we're going to see a map. This is in the manual. You can find this in the manual, right? Uh, we have a bank, a sport palace that I imagine is a, is a store, right? A school. A mall or commercial center, right? A park. A church. City hall, that is La Alcaldía, right? The city hall. A restaurant. Arroz Company, that is a company, it's a business. And book where book word that is uh, it's a uh, bookstore it's a bookstore right book word is a store right good repeat us to me please repeat us to me bank sport palace school mall park Church. City Hall. Restaurant. Arrows Company. Book World. Good. Among those places, we have uh, Barrios Street, Roosevelt Street. It looks like San Miguel for me, right? <laughs> okay, uh, Second Avenue and First Avenue. Good. This is a, a, a map, right? Uh, 
about El Salvador, for example, the cities in El Salvador are a complete disorder. Santa Ana, San Miguel, La Huachapan, okay, Santa Tecla, San Salvador, right? It's a big, a big mess, a big disorder, right? And uh, do you know something about uh, San Salvador? Do you know about the nomenclatura? Somebody knows? Well, I will explain very fast, right? We have four, uh, four axes, right? Tenemos cuatro ejes. One is Avenida España, Avenida Cucatlán, right? And then we have uh, Calle Arce, Calle, Calle Delgado, right? So these are the, the axes, right? It's an X, right? Una X. And the, the, the point is el punto cero in San Salvador, right? Que por el momento ahorita están construyendo, por cierto, no sé si ya está pavimentado o no, pero ahí están arreglando ahorita, ok. La zona cero, do you know? ¿Alguien ha ido a la zona cero en San Salvador? Downtown. Yes, la placa que está ahí en medio, en la esquina de la catedral, you know? Nobody. Tiene el escudo de, de, de Alcaldía Municipal de San Salvador. It's correct. Tiene yeah. todos los, los ejes. Yes, very good. So we have, from Mexicanos to San Salvador, we have Avenida España, right? From San Salvador to San Jacinto, we have Avenida Cuscatlán, right? That is the same that passed in front of the National Palace and the new books, and the new library, la nueva biblioteca, ahí pasa la... Avenida Cuscatlán, right? And the other one is the, the Arce, right? La que va a dar hasta la tecnológica, right? Luego pasa por la zona cero y pasa por el, el Teatro Nacional, pasa por el Mercado Ex Cuartel, right? This is Delgado Avenue, right? This, this doesn't have a number. Estos no tienen números. Solo son los cuatro ejes, you know? San Salvador. And then we go in four point, right? We have the north, is Mexicanos, the south, that is San Jacinto, the east, el, el oriente, right? That is the el Hospital Bloom, right? This area. And the poniente, that is the, the west, el poniente que va a dar hacia la troncal del norte, ¿no? Por ahí es por esa zona, es el, el zona norte, right? Okay, uh, so these are the areas. And then the, the most difficult, right? Pero lo más complicado es, <laughs> es que las, las calles, ¿no? Van en, 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 en nones hacia mexicanos y en pares hacia, hacia, hacia San Jacinto, right? So we say, después de la calle Arzo sigue la primera calle Oriente. Yes. Luego la tercera, luego la quinta, la séptima, novena, etcétera, etcétera, right? Good. Oriente, y esas mismas pasan al oriente. La primera calle Oriente, tercera calle Oriente, quinta calle, séptima, etc. Right? Y a este lado van eh, uh, en, en, en pares. ¿no? Después de la, de la calle Arce o de la calle Delgado van en pares. La segunda calle Poniente y segunda calle Oriente. Bajando la Cucatlán. ¿no? Cuarta calle Oriente, no, Poniente, perdón, y luego Cuarta Calle, Oriente, Poniente, Oriente. Complicated, right? Y luego van las avenidas, las avenidas van para arriba, ¿no? Hacia el Hospital Rosales, Hospital Bloom, toda esa zona, ¿no? Eh, van en, en, en Nones, creo que van para arriba, ¿no? La, la primera avenida, la tercera avenida, y van en Norte y Sur. Avenida Norte, Avenida Sur, Avenida Norte. Y hacia abajo van en nones. Primera Avenida Norte, Primera Avenida Sur, primera, Tercera, Quinta, Séptima. Complicated, right? <laughs> This is San Salvador. <laughs> Very complicated, right? Uh, and the most complicated is the Sexta Décima. Have you heard about that, William? Have you heard about Sexta Décima in San Salvador? I don't have an idea. You don't have any idea. What is this? 
Karen, what about you? Do you know what is la sexta décima? No. Who knows? Alejandro? No, no. You don't live in San Salvador, right, Alejandro? You live in Lourdes, right? No, Papa. Ah, pop. Ah, you know, right? Oh, you know. So you have an idea. Tiene una idea. Eh, la sexta décima. Well, it's complicated, right? It's complicated. Eh, but it's like this. Look. De Centro de San Salvador tenemos la segunda. La segunda calle. Luego tenemos la, la cuarta. Luego tenemos la sexta la octava y la décima, right? Entonces, hay en un momento en San Salvador que la sexta y la décima van aquí y en el medio va la octava. Pero hay un momento en que la octava se termina <ríe> y luego se une la sexta y la décima en una sola calle, ¿no? Es la calle que va a dar al Parque Cuscatlán y al Gimnasio Nacional, ¿sí? Entonces, la sexta... Hay el progreso, dice ahí. Mm, no sé si tiene nombre, pero ahí pueden ver en la esquinita, en la esquina del Parque Cucatrán, dice Sexta Décima, calle Poniente. Dice. Sí, entre eh, Estadio Mágico González, Ajá. Estadio de Fútbol Playa, Correct. hasta llegar Gimnasio al Parque Nacional. Cucatlán, pasando Correct. el gimnasio nacional. Yeah. Esa es la calle famosa, Sexta Décima, <risa> solo en El Salvador. <risa> Es porque va la sexta y la décima acá y en medio la octava. La octava se termina y la sexta y la décima se unen en una sola. <ríe> Complicated. Similar to eh, queso duro blandito, right? Tiene queso duro blandito. <ríe> Only in El Salvador. O oh, instead of say, ya, ya, ya me voy, yo no sé, en El Salvador yo no sé, ya me voy, yo sé, ya vengo. <ríe> The opposite. Ya vengo, ya vengo. You don't say, ya voy, ya me voy, no, es ya vengo. It's the opposite, right? Only in El Salvador, right? And the last one, this is the most uh, funny, is that you point with the lip, right? Solo los salvadoreños apuntamos con los labios. ¿Dónde está el lapicero? Only in El Salvador, right? Okay, let's continue. The most important part is the location here, right? Now, to describe location, we are going to use three preposition. Remember this three preposition we were learning uh, that is about uh, time. For example, you say on weekend, uh, in November, in 2023, okay, at noon, at midnight. So we use the three preposition to describe time. Tick tack, tick time. But this time we're not going to describe time. We're going to describe places, location, right? Okay? So, for example, we say on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street. So, to describe places, we are going to talk about surface, surface, superficie, right? Superficie. Excuse me? So, surface, right? Todo lo que esté en la superficie, on. The teacher is on the floor, right? Yo estoy sobre el piso, on. There is a table, right? There is a table here. Por aquí tengo una mesita, you know. No se alcanza a ver bien, pero ahí está la mesa, yes. And so, my, my, the cell phone is on the table. On the table, right? So, on is surface. Surface right? Surface. Superficie, right? In is a close, right? Algo cerrado, total o parcialmente cerrado. In El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, in the classroom, in my house, etc., etc. When I say in my house, it's totally closed, right? Encerrado totalmente. Pero si yo digo en San Salvador, Estoy hablando de casas, árboles, postes, edificios, right? No es que esté totalmente cerrado, pero estoy como parcialmente encerrado, ¿no? No puedo decir lo mismo del desierto, the desert. You don't say in the desert, you say on the desert. ¿Por qué? Porque el desierto es 
plano, ¿no? No hay nada, ni árboles, ni nada. So on. ¿Ok? Good. So, in is closed places. Lugar encerrado, total o, o parcialmente. At is when we talk about specific places. For example, we say at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. So, again, on is surface, superficies. In is a closed place, lugar cerrado total o parcialmente. At es un lugar específico, specific place, right? Okay, now let's go to the example, right? On. Her house is on Bank Street. We go to school on 34th Avenue, right? En la 34 Avenida. 34th. Trigésima cuarta avenida, ese, right? Por cierto, eh, después de esta presentación vamos a ver, a practicar los números ordinales. Yes? Vamos a practicar los números ordinales y los meses. Yes. Okay, good. So then, it says, I work on the 10th floor, en el décimo piso, right? So, you say, on, on. So, on Bank Street, on Arts Street, on Cuscatlán Avenue, right? On 34th Avenue, on Sexta Décima Calle. <laughs> on, right? On. Good. In. She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. At. When you use that for a specific places, you say, I live at 50 Main Street. Vivo en el número 50, no en la calle 50, no, en la casa 50. En la casa 50 de la calle principal. At 50 Main Street, right? En la calle 50, perdón, en la casa 50 de la uh, calle principal. So what does it mean? It means that it's very specific place, right? En la calle principal, ¿cuántas casas número 50 hay? Solo una. Solo una, right? So that's why we say specific. At is specific, right? He works at, at a bookstore. Okay, wait a minute, right? Ella trabaja en la libre... En la... En la... How do you say bookstore in Spanish? De, en la venta de libros, you know, en la... En la librería. Ok. Eh, but can I say in a bookstore? ¿Puedo decir in a bookstore? Sí. Sí puedo decir in a bookstore. Right? Pero cuando digo in a bookstore, me refiero a que usted está dentro de la librería. Right? Está en la ubicación de dentro o fuera. Dentro. In o out. In out. In out. Right? Pero cuando digo at a bookstore, me estoy refiriendo a la locación del lugar, que es específica, at, right? Ok, entonces podemos decir ambas. Yo puedo decir, he works at a bookstore, o puedo decir, he works in a bookstore. Pero cuando digo at, me refiero a la, a la, a la ubicación, a la locación específica. Y cuando digo in, me refiero a que está dentro del lugar, ¿ok? ¿Entienden? The same happened here. They study at the Brooks School. They study at the Brooks School. Okay, so we can say in the Brooks School or at Brooks School. Okay, very Amen. good. Teacher, Ajá. realmente entonces dependería de qué es lo que están haciendo para decir que están en forma in. Me imagino o, o a, para ponerlo se, así. Se refiere al contexto, Karen, al contexto. Si usted está refiriéndose que trabaja dentro de un lugar, in. Y si se refiere a que ese lugar es, tiene una ubicación específica dentro de una ciudad, at. ¿Ok? Good. Si usted lo ve en su... En el, en el Waze, por ejemplo, ahí tiene que decir at. <risa> Pero si usted lo visualiza con que trabajo adentro o afuera del local, entonces in, right? Ok, good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. 
Her house is on Bank Street. We go to school on 34th Avenue. I work on the 10th floor. She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. I live at 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. They study at the Brooks School. Okay, thank you now. Uh, Claudia, can you read the first examples, please? On, on, read, please. Sorry? Can you read the examples for the class, Claudia? With on, on, read, read, please. Mm. Your house is... On Bank Street. Bank Street. Bank. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? Bank Street. How do you uh, say, Claudia, listen. How, hard, how do you pronounce? Hard Repeat. house in Bank okay. Street. No, wait. Para hacer la pregunta en inglés, tiene que decirme así, Claudia, uh -huh. listen. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Yes. Eh, it's pronounced Bank Street. Repeat, please. Bang Street. Bang Street. Good. Street. Con continue, please. Todas las tengo que hacer en forma de pregunta. No, no, no. No, es no. It's sentence. It's sentence, yes. Así no tal cual está. Yeah, yeah. We go to a school on... 34th. 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 Avenida, como dijo que se me Avenue. Suena? Avenue. How do you, We... how do you pronounce? How do you We pronounce? We go to a school on Betty Four Avenue. I work on the thin floor. Thank you very much. Good, thank you. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have tonight, we have Grecia and Diana. Welcome back. Welcome back, okay. Diana. <laughs> ya nos Good, evening. Good evening. Good <laughs> evening. Welcome. So, Diana, can you read the examples uh, with in, please? Uh, she live, she lives in apartment. They live in a house. Uh, it work in an office. Uh -huh. I I work. I work in an office. In an office, right? In an office. Thank you very much. Thank you, Grecia. Can you read the the last example with at, please? I live. Uh... 50, 50. 50, 50. <laughs> Perdón. I live at 50 Main Street. He works at at bookstores. They study at the Brook School. Thank you very much. Very good. Claudia, Grecia, Dayana. Nice. Thank you. Por ahí está Dino, felicitándola por su lectura. Okay, very good. In the meantime, I will take the attendance, please. Stay present with your names. Uh, paso a recordarles que todavía me deben algunos chicos. ¿Verdad? Eh, perdón que mencione los nombres, pero <ríe> sí necesito que ya esté completa la unidad 1, 2, 3 y el examen de medio, de medio curso, ¿verdad? Eh, lo chequeé ayer, ahora no sé si han trabajado, ¿verdad? Pero tendríamos que tener listo esto. 
Eh, si gustan, para no atrasarnos, podemos trabajar en el examen final el día jueves y ya tener completa la plataforma para que así el viernes no nos estén diciendo correa, cómo es la cosa, correteando en inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Así es que vamos a, a ver. Eh, Grecia me debe la unidad 3 y el examen de medio curso. Eh, luego tengo a Paola también, ¿verdad? Paola hace poco le habilitaron la plataforma, pero sí, necesito que me complemente la unidad 3. Paola. Ok, y, teacher. Y Wilson también, no sé si está Wilson por acá. Necesito la unidad 3 también, ¿verdad, Wilson? Solamente. Solamente. Ok, ok. Yes. Yes. Bueno, pero... Bueno, pero... Pero faltaría la unidad 4, que la vamos a hacer esta semana, ¿sí? ¿Les parece que el jueves nos dediquemos exclusivamente a terminar la plataforma? Sí, el viernes quedamos, ¿ves? Tranquilo ya. ¿verdad? Tranquilo ya. Descansamos en clases el viernes. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Ay, pero así no. No, Wilson, relax. Ya descansó el sábado y el domingo, Wilson. What happened to you? Ok, no, Friday we finish. El, el viernes terminamos el curso. Ese día vamos a hacer una, una evaluación, un, un, una encuesta. Eh, es una encuesta que hace Insafor, ¿no? Entonces, eh, tenemos tres requisitos para pasar el curso. Requisito uno es terminar la plataforma. Son cuatro unidades y dos exámenes. Un examen de medio curso y el examen final. ¿Sí? Tendríamos que hacerlo el viernes, pero el viernes como que muy apretado, ¿no? Entonces vamos a hacerlo el jueves, ¿sí? Dos exámenes y cuatro unidades. Es el requisito uno en la plataforma. Número dos, asistir al menos al 80% de sus clases en Zoom. Requisito dos. Y requisito tres, por eso nadie puede faltar el viernes, nadie puede faltar el viernes, porque vamos a llenar esa encuesta. Al llenar la encuesta, ustedes me mandan el resultado al grupo de WhatsApp y ya queda registrado. Ustedes van a recibir un correo para hacer la encuesta, pero no la vayan a hacer antes de la clase. Lo vamos a hacer durante la clase. Nadie va a hacer esa encuesta antes de la clase. Tenemos que hacerla durante la clase. Yo sé que ustedes, algunos de ustedes pueden hacerla solito, yo lo sé. Pero para requisitos de INSAFOR tenemos que hacerlo juntos en la clase, ¿ok? Muy bien. El viernes, entonces, la agenda es, el jueves terminamos todos la plataforma, ¿sí? El viernes hacemos la encuesta y tenemos la última clase. Y se emita para todos. Cortesía de Karen. <risa> no, mentira. Ok. Pero sí vamos a hacer una actividad especial ese día. Así que, por favor, no vayan a faltar el viernes. Bueno, ni toda la semana tampoco, va, pero si tienen alguna emergencia, que no sea el viernes, ¿ok? Good. Let's continue. Después de ver cómo estamos con la plataforma, vamos a la asistencia. Eh, Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Cindy. Claudia. Present. Diana. Present. Grecia. Present. Karen. Present. Beatriz. Present. Lucía. Lucía. Luis. Present. Verónica está de oyente y Cindy, por supuesto, está de oyente porque no le sirve el micrófono. Eh, Alejandro. Gracias. Thank you. Nuria. Present. Paola. Present, teacher. Thank you. William. I'm here, teacher. Good. Wilson. Mr. Hernández. Mr. Wilson Steve, are you there? 
Acabo de ver a Wilson por ahí. Se nos fue, ¿verdad? En el internet creo que le está fallando, pero ahí ya estaba. Le voy a poner asistencia y espero que se conecte otro rato. Yes. Good. Tenemos casa llena este día. Me siento súper feliz. Mister. Yes, hello, Carla. Good, good night. Hello, Friend. Carla. Oh, my hello. goodness. What happened to you? ¿Qué le había pasado, Carlita? Vamos a ver. <laughs> Tuve un pequeño inconveniente, por eso no me había podido conectar. Sí, bueno, este, y con la plataforma, ¿cómo estamos, Carlita? Ya el día de ahora estoy hablando con Cindy y ahora me puse casi que al día con todo, solo me falta una evaluación de la, de la, del jueves o del viernes, creo que era la que me falta de la semana pasada, pero ya hoy me puse el día. Excelentoso, excelentoso. Thank you, thank you very much. Good. <coughs> Estaba tan triste, Carla, que ni le tomaba la asistencia, porque como la semana pasada, Carla, Carlita, Carla. Yeah, oh, sí, yeah. es que no pude, sí, pero le reporté a Cindy que, que no había podido. Va muy bien, estamos bien, video. excelente. El viernes sí Gracias. no voy a faltar porque ese día vamos a hacer la encuesta, oiga. Yes. Ya puede pasar el curso número dos, ¿ok? Ok, Good. thank you. No, thank you, right? Es más, tenemos casa llenas. Todos están ahora. Bueno, Wilson ya acaba de salir, pero ya, ya va a entrar por ahí. Ok, now, let's continue, right? Let's work together. Okay, where, where what, where do or where does your brother what, live? Work? Study? What is the correct verb, right? And then you say he works in an office, on an office, or at an office. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Alejandra has the answer. Okay, Alejandra? Hello, teacher, sorry. <laughs> uh, number one, please. Um, where does sure. or where do your brother? Where does? Mm -hmm, correct. Yes, Your brother, this. what? Live, work, or study? ¿Dónde está? Number one. Number one. Where, where does, does your brother? Where does your brother? Live, in? work, or study? Work. Work, correct. Yes. Work. Listen, Alejandra. Ale uh, William, can you tell me the four parts of the information question, please? W word. WH word in this case. WH word. Uh, where, where in this case. Continue. Uh, auxiliary. Auxiliary in auxiliary. this case is, is does. Uh -huh. Subject. Subject in this case is your brother and and bear bear that in this case is work. So information question work have four parts. Thank you, William. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. WH work where auxiliary does subject your brother in this case and finally the bear that is work right now. Alejandra in an office at an office or on an office. And he was in an office? No. In an office, correct. In an office. Okay. But, Alejandra, you can also say at an office. At it an depends office. on the context, right? In this case, we're going to say in an office. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Now, uh, Claudia, please, number two. Where do? Where, Where do? do? Uh huh. Very good. Where do you? 
Live, work, or study. ¿Qué significa French? French is uh, Le Magnose Claudia Pacle Le Monse. Um, ¿Ocupa que le pensé? ¿No es para que le? Oh. Sería, where do you study French? Excelente. Also, study, right? Study, uh, study, study yeah. French. Study where French. do you study French? Uh -huh. So, le magmase, Claudia, please. We study in, on, or at. Sería, at. At, you can say in too, right? At, right? Inglés corporativo. So thank you very much. Now, number three. Number three is for Diana. Does, where does? Does, because his neighbor is singular. Uh, perdón el comentario. Yo siento que estamos muy bien en el curso. Es nivel uno, pero ya creo que todos aprendimos a manejar el do y el das. Casi, casi todo, ¿verdad? El do y el das. Eh, lo que me gusta es que ustedes reconocen, por ejemplo, cuando es singular, es das. Y cuando es plural, por ejemplo, en la cuatro, your partner es do. ¿Ok? Thank you, thank you. Then. Now, continue. Where does your neighbor? Uh, work. Work. Excelente. Uh, ok, my battery. Give me a second, give me a second, my battery. I need my battery in my computer. Okay, I am ready. Excuse me for the inconvenience. So, uh, where does your neighbor work? She works at we can say at a factory and we can say in a factory too, right? Okay. It depends on the context. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Grecia, please, number four. Um, sería where does? Okay, parents is singular or plural, Grecia? Uh, plural. Plural, plural. So. So, do or does? Do. Do, correct. Parents is my mother and my father, right? So, it's two. Plural. Mm -hmm. So, where do your parents, what, live, work, or study? Live. Oh, give me a second, please. Se me pasó aquí, permítame. Okay, uh-huh. Sorry, where do your parents? Live. Live. That is correct, right? Good. And they live in, on, or at? Mm. At? At. Totally correct, right? ¿Por qué at? Porque está mencionando la casa 58, right? Mm. It's exactly. It's, mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Where does your brother work? Where the Where do you Ah, perdón. Where does your brother work? He works in an office. Where do you study French? We study at Inglés Corporativo. Where does your neighbor work? She works at a factory. Where do your parents live?
They live at 58 Arce Street. Fifty-eight Arce Street. Okay, now let's practice, please. Uh, in this case, Karen and Carla, please. Karen, your number one. Karen, your A. You make the question, and Carla, let it be. Okay. One, one, two, three. Action. Where does your brother work? He works in an office. Correct. Thank you. Now, uh, Beatriz, you make the question number two. Uh, Lucia, no sé si está por aquí, Lucia. No, okay. So, uh, Beatriz, you make the question in number two. And Luis, you make the answer, right? Where do you study French? We study at English Corporative. Uh, merci, Monsieur. Monsieur Jacobo, Maxi. Okay, uh, then we have Alejandro, please. You make the question in number three. And Nuria, the answer. Where does the neighbor work? She works in a factory. At a factory? At a factory. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Paola, please. You make the question in number four, and William, you you make the answer, right? Okay. Where do you where do sorry where do your parents live? They live at fifty eight Arce, Arce Street. Fifty eight Arce Street in Cujucuyo, right? <laughs> no, in Cujucuyo, no, in San Salvador, right? Okay, class. Any question? Any question? No. Okay. Good. Now we're going to copy again in, on, and at. But this case only in, on, in, on, right? In, on, at, sorry. In, on, at, right? There we go again. Alejandra, number one. Oh. Where do you lie? Where do Where you live, right? Yes, this is similar, right? Es bastante parecido el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> sí, sí, yo pensé que solo era de in on, no, pero otra vez. Where do, <laughs> Where do you live? Sí. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? Okay, thank you, thank you, Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Now, eh, Claudia, please. I live. I live. At. Ah, correct. Good. Please, Diana, number two. Eh, ¿Qué significa eh, boss? Ahí? Your boss, your manager, el, eh, eh, el jefecito, you know, <laughs> your boss. Um, sería where in your boss, right? No, 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 in this case, it's do or does. Uh, do. And does. Does. Correct. Thank you. Grecia? She lives? Uh, do? No. In, on, or at? Uh, she... At? Mm. Well, in this case, we're referring to not to a specific place, but dentro de un edificio, right? So, in, on, or at? Yeah. In. In, correct, right? Aquí sí, porque estamos hablando del de dentro del lugar. Now, 30th, 30th Street, trigésima calle. In, on, or at? At. Ah, um, no, porque no me dice el número de la casa. Solo me dice que es la trigésima calle. Y cuando hablamos de calle, hablamos de... Surface. Eh, es, 
On. On, correct. On. Cuando hablamos de superficies, on, right? Thank you very much. Now, uh, who's next? Ah, ya me perdí. Eh, Karen, yes, right? Con Karen seguiría, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, Karen, number three. Where do your friends work? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you. Where do your friends work, right? Thank you, Karen. Carla, they work. In, on, or at? Carla, can you hear me? Okay, Beatriz, please. In, on, at? or at? Yeah, both are possible. No. No, it's correct, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's correct. But you can also say, Beatriz, in this context, I guess you can say both because we're talking about the location, the location of the building, right? Near the park, is that right? So in the first one, it says she lives in an apartment. So in is more appropriate. And in this case, at is more appropriate. Very good. Thank you. Now, after Beatriz, we have a... Um, Luis, please. Number four, Luis. Do or does? Well, does. Does. And after Luis, I'm sorry, after Luis, we have, eh, let me see, a las nueve me dijo que se iba a conectar Verónica. No, todavía le falta. Eh, Alejandro, please. He works in, on, or at a pharmacy. In. In. Aquí como que más apropiado in, ¿verdad? Creo que podemos decir at, pero suena más in. Aunque ambos se pueden, pero vamos a poner in. Thank you, Alejandro. And finally, the, no, question five, right? Question five, Nuria. Das. das. Where does? Excuse me. Where does? Ah, das. No lo sé, Rick. Do. Do, correct. Do you, right? Do you. Where do you go out for dinner? Me, I go to a Chinese restaurant. In, on, or at? Paola? At. At. Yes, correct. At the moment. At. And finally, number six. William, please. Do or does, William? Do. Do, correct. Wilson, are you there? Ya regresó Wilson. No, no ha regresado Wilson. Bueno, Alejandra, help me, please. Number six, letter B. At home, they exercise at home. At home. Very yeah. good. Uh, this is an let's say an exception, right? Siempre que hablemos de home, siempre vamos a decir at. Siempre vamos a decir at, ¿ok? Nunca me va a decir on, in, on, at, todo el tiempo. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Where do you live? I live at 12 Cuscatlán Avenue. Where does your boss live? She lives in an apartment building. She 
She lives in an apartment building. On 30th Street. Where do your friends work? They work at an office building. They work at an office building near the park. Where does Roberto work? He works in a pharmacy. He works in an office. No, sorry, in a pharmacy. <laughs> Where do you go out for dinner? Me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant at the mall. I go to a nice Chinese restaurant at the mall. Where do they exercise? They exercise at home. Okay, question and answer, question and answer. William, you make the question number one. Alejandra, you make the answer. Let it be in number one, please. Ready? One, two, three, action. Where do you live? I live at 12 Cuscatlan Avenue. Thank you. Paola, you make the question number two. And Claudia, you make the answers. Number two. Okay. Uh, where does your boss live? She lives in an apartment building on Diddy Street. 30th Street. 30th Street. Street. Thank Street. you very much. Nice. Nice. Okay. Nuria, please, you make the question number three. Diana, the answer. Where do your friends work? They were an office building near the park. Yes, thank you. Uh, Alejandro, you made the question. In Grecia, right? Grecia, yes. Alejandro made the question number four. Oh. Yes, yes. And Diana, please. No, no. Grecia, right? <laughs> ya me perdí, sorry. He, Grecia, right? Grecia. Uh -huh. He was. Um, no lo ha dicho él todavía. No, no, no. Yeah, ya, ya preguntó. Marvin, pregunte otra vez, Marvin Alejandro. Where does Roberto work? He was in a pharmacy. Thank you very much. Number five, please. Eh, Luis and Karen. Yes, Luis made the question and carry the answer. Number five. Where do you go out for dinner? Me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant at the mall. Good pronunciation. Now, uh, then we have Luis. No, wait a minute. 
No, no. Beatriz, right? Beatriz, you make the question. And Carla, no sé si ya se conectó nuevamente, Carla. Yeah, mister. Okay, good. So you make the answer, right? In number six, Carla. Eh, Beatriz, question. Where do, where do they exercise? The exercise at home. Thank you very much, right? Beatriz, exercise. Exercise. Good. Thank you very much, everybody. Good. So this is the use of in, on, and at uh, talking about places. Right? That's it, right? That is the presentation. Now we're going to see the ordinal numbers. Ahora vamos a repasar los números ordinales. Solo regáleme unos segunditos. Ok. Hmm. Give me a second. No, no, no era esta unidad. Permítame. Sorry. Ah, oh, here, here, right? Okay, to begin, we're going to learn about the months of the year, right? Now, listen, please. Unit 11. What are you going to do? Page 72, exercise 1. Months and dates. Can you hear? ¿Alcanzamos a escuchar, Karen? Yes? Yes, okay, good. Now, listen. Part A. Listen and practice the months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, now please repeat after me. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, now let's practice. Please, Alejandra, only you, only you. Please, read the month again. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good. Say April. April. April, April, right? Good. April, okay. I have a, a question for the for you and for the class. 
Alejandra, I have a question. Um, uh, no, no, I have a question. Yo tengo la pregunta para ustedes. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> for you and for the class. Para usted y para todos okay. en la clase. Okay. okay. Uh, let's say Alejandra's mother. Alejandra's mother. Has three sons, three children, right? Uh, the first, the first is named April, right? April, right? El primero de los tres niños se llama Abril, right? The first is named uh, April, right? The second is named May. Alejandra's mother has three children. The first is named April. The second is named May. Right? What is the name of the third children or the third child? Answer? Alejandra. Ajá. No cayeron en la trampa. <laughs> yes. The name of the third child is Alejandra, right? Yes. Very good. Do you understand? Okay, good. Now let's go again to the month. Good. Let us read the month of the year again, please. Mm. Claudia, please. Again. January, February. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Mm -hmm. October. 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 Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Now, Grecia, please. Only you, Grecia. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. August. Say August. August. Thank you very much. Now, Diana, only you. And we finish. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Thank you. Say October. 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 Very good. Now, let's go to practice. Ladies and gentlemen, the ordinal number, right? First, we're going to listen, and then we're going to complete together. Listen. Page 72, exercise 1, part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, 20th, 
21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay. Now, the first one is uh, uh, you're going to copy, listen, pay attention to this, the last two letters of the number. For example, in this case, first, the last two letters are ST, right? To say, first, second. Second, right? And then the other one is the third. Third, right? So RD, RD, right? Fourth, th, th, right? So, in the ordinal numbers, we use the last two letters to describe the number, right? Very short. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc., 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 right? Okay, now we're going to listen and complete the list. Listen and complete the list. Ready? Second. Listen and practice. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, Okay, now again. Page seven. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay, now let's practice. The first one, the first group color green, please. Carla, can you read them again for the class, please, Carla? Yes. 
read. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Good. Thank you very much. Luis, color blue, please read. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 28. 20, 20th. 20th. Yes. Okay. And the last one, color yellow, please. William, only you, William. Okay. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay, thank you. And it says 30th. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now listen to the pronunciation, right? First, second, third, and fourth. This is like when you say sa sa sapo, sa sa, okay? Or when you say thank you, thank you, you say fourth, fifth, sixth, <laughs> huh? you know? So, this is the sound TH, right? Este es el sonido de la TH. La TH tiene dos sonidos. TH, like in thank you, for example, right? Thank you. O TH, like in father. Father, right? So, we say... Thank you. Thank you. And the, 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 father, mother. So, la TH tiene dos sonidos. Un sonido de S. Un sonido de D, D. Right? En este caso, la TH tiene el sonido de un sonido como de una Z, viene siendo, sí. En donde nosotros dejamos ir el aire a través de los dientes y la lengua. Y decimos, so, thank you, 14th, 15th, 16th, etc., etc., right? Okay, class, any questions so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, chicos, sobre los números ordinales? Questions? Teacher, an example of a cardinal number like the, the Oscars. Oh, my goodness. Very difficult. La quincuagesima octava, even in Spanish, is difficult for me. <laughs> but let's try. But what, what number do you remember? ¿Qué, qué número se recuerda usted? Él, él, él la... Va por la 64, creo, ¿verdad? No. Eh... Póngale que diga quincuagésima, que son como ven así. 50, ajá, 55, digamos, ¿vale? Ajá. La quincuagésima quinta entrega, ¿sí? Va, digámoslo en inglés, permítanme. In this case is 50, 50, right? So is 50, 50, 55th. The 55th Academy Award. <laughs> yes. Academy Award. 
the 55th, quincuagésima quinta entrega, right? Yes. It's difficult in Spanish. No, it's it's more easy in English. In English, right? 55th. 50, eh, 50, no, pero en, en inglés, quincuagésima, quinta. So, eh, el número 50 no se, se dice normal. Aquí, por ejemplo, vea el ejemplo de 20, 27th. El que se usa como número ordinal es el segundo. En este caso, en las quincuagésima quinta es el segundo que es el quinto, ¿no? Entonces decimos 50 quinto. 55th, right? Another example. Otro ejemplo ahí. ¿Qué le parece la, la 78? <laughs> yes. Septuagésima octava. Septuagésima octava entrega de los premios. Entonces se dice. No, no es. Ajá, septuagésima, septuagésima. Y seventy. Seventy eighth, seventy eighth, septuagésima, octava. <ríe> no, no sé por qué número irá, pero ya van bastante avanzado, ¿verdad? Eh, yo vi un video en, en, en YouTube donde aparecían todas las entregas de los premios Oscar, ¿verdad? Hasta la fecha. Unas películas que ni idea, ¿no? <ríe> Obviamente el Titanic. Eh, Sueños de Libertad. Star Wars. Han sido las películas que galardonadas. Ok, good. Thank you. Now, any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta, chicos? No questions? Ok. Good. Ahora vamos entonces a lo que es de Truje Mujeres. Eh, let's go to page 86 and 87. Okay, look, here we have some places, right? And the products that you can buy in those places, right? For example, we have aspirin, bread, a dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, Stamps, estampillas que ya, ya no se venden, ¿va? Hoy ya nadie manda cartas. A suit, traveler checks. Do you have any question about the meaning of these words? Do you understand? Okay. So aspirin, where you can buy aspirin? Ah, let it be. You can buy aspirin in a drugstore. In a drugstore, correct. Let it be. A drugstore, good. Where can you buy bread? Uh, the bakery. Uh-huh. But in this case, we have a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, and a supermarket. Where can in you buy bread? In a supermarket. That is correct, right?
Okay. So letter H, right? H, right? Bread H. Good. A dictionary. Where can you buy a dictionary? A post office, a drugstore, a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, or a supermarket. Where can you buy a dictionary? In a bookstore? Or a book in a bookstore, totally correct. At a, at a bookstore, uh -huh. or in a bookstore, yes. Letter okay. F, right? Letter F, right? Gasoline. Where can you buy a gasoline? Letter C, gas station. In a gas station, right? Very good. And where can you buy a sandwich? Coffee shop. A coffee shop. Letter A, G. right? G, sorry. G. Good. Where can you buy stamps? A post office. In a post office, right? Repito, ya casi no. A menos que usted mande un paquete, ¿no? Pero en carta ya no. No more. Desde que se inventó WhatsApp y Facebook, ya. Ya nadie usa carta. <laughs> ok, good. What about a suit? Where can you buy a suit? A post office, a drugstore, a gas station, department store, bank, bookstore, coffee shop, super. Where can you buy a suit? ¿Dónde puede comprar un traje? Letter D in a department store. Okay, letter D, right? Letter D. Good. And traveler checks. Where can you buy traveler checks? Mm -hmm. Where can you buy cheque de viajeros? Traveler checks. Where? A bank. In a bank, that's totally correct, right? Good. Now listen to the audio, please. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, Exercise 1, Word Power, Places and Things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Ah, uh, sorry. Unit 13. Places and Things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. 
You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Good. Any question? Okay. Now, let's continue practice, right? Good. I need a swimsuit. Necesito un traje de baño, right? I need a swimsuit, right? Here we have uh, the Anderson talking. The Anderson, uh, they are in a family, right? What do they need? Listen to the Anderson family conversation. What do they need? And where are they going to buy those things, right? Now listen to the audio, please. Page 87, exercise 2, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Again. Page 87, Exercise 2, Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes. But I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. 
Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Good, thank you. Now we're going to go last time, but this time slowly, right? Slowly. Here we go. Page 8. Anderson Family's Conversations. What do they need? Where are they? 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Good. So, Jean needs a swimsuit, right? And where is she going to get the swimsuit? At the department store. At a department store, correct, right? A department store. Thank you. Let's go to the second one. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. Good. So where is mom going to go? A uh, supermarket. A supermarket. Very good. Uh-huh. And... This is where uh, she needs her cookies. Ah, okay. Very good. Just give me a second here. Totally right. So she needs some cookies. Chocolate cookies. Uh-huh. <laughs> chocolate cookies. Cookies, right? Crackers are galletas saladas and cookies are galletas dulce, right? Chocolate cookies. Where? Where is she going to get the cookies? A supermarket. Superman? I'm kidding. I know it's a supermarket. <laughs> supermarket. Yes. Thank you very much. Now let's go to dad. What did the dad say in this context? What's wrong, dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Good. What does dad need? Dad needs aspirin. An aspirin. Aspirin, right? Aspirin. And where is he going to get it? Drugstore. <laughs> a Drug pharmacy. A pharmacy or a drugstore. Mm -hmm. It's the same, right? In English, it's the same. Drugstore. What about Mike? Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay. So what does Mike need? What does Mike need? A magazine. A magazine, correct. And where is he going to get the magazine? Bookstore. In a bookstore, correct.
Okie dokie. You see? Good. Uh, tomorrow we are going to continue talking about directions and more, right? By the by the moment we're going to go to the manual. Let's practice the manual, right? Just give me a second here. I will close something here. You need four, right? Yes, I have it here. Let me share with you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the manual, page number 39, right? Okay, look at the map here, right? We have a bank, the sport palace, the school, the church, the city hall, the restaurant, the boudoir, et cetera, et cetera. So now, question number one. Which street is the restaurant on? Which street? William, can you tell me which street is the restaurant on? The name of the street. Roosevelt Street. Ro Roosevelt Street. Totally right. Roosevelt Street. Correct. Question number two. Which street is the city hall on? City hall. Second Avenue? No, but Avenue. the question is about street, right? Oh, uh, street, okay. The same Roosevelt street. street. Totally right. The same Roosevelt Street. Yes. Let me check it up something in the manual. Mm -hmm. Roosevelt Street, yes. No, because uh, uh, the question about is about the street, but you can also know that, uh, for example, the city hall is on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, too, right? Okay, so there are two options, but because the question say straight, so we're going to be strict and we're going to say uh, Roosevelt Street again. Sería similar en la uno, entonces. Ajá, uh -huh. I guess it's because, okay. look at this. Porque la uno es Roosevelt Street y First Avenue. First Avenue, right? The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street, on Roosevelt Street, and on First Avenue. The same with the city hall. The city hall is uh, on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Okay, let's go to the last one. Park. Where is, which street is the park? Park. Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street between. Yeah. Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street, right? That is totally correct. Good. That's it. Now let's continue working. Let's continue working. Good. On, in, and at. On, in, and at, right? 
Good. So when do you use in? When do you use on? Good. So we're going to make groups. What time is it? Oh, no, only 10 minutes, right? Pero creo que en cinco minutos lo hacemos. Yes? Okay. Let's go to work in the groups. Ready? Okay, here we go, right? Very fast. Group number one, Alejandra, Grecia, Karen, and William. Group number two, Diana, Veronica, Veronica ya está activa, ¿verdad? Nuria and Paola. And group number three, Claudia, Carla, Luis, and Alejandro, right? There you go, five minutes. En cinco minutos creo que hacemos este ejercicio. Me le hacen captura de pantalla, por favor. Captura de pantalla y nos vamos al grupo. Yes. Okay. Five minutes. Hello, Veronica. Welcome. <laughs> Alejandro, Nuria, please. Connect. Conectémonos, please. Come on, Karen, you can do it. Alejandro, please. Hay que apolar. No, Nuria, estamos en tra trabajando en grupo. La voy a... Es que se me, se me va el internet, como está lloviendo, creo que por ah, eso es. Ah, ok. Eh, ahorita sí. la ubico. Eh, el grupo número dos está, Nuria. Bye. Eh, puede darle ahí a incorporarse. Alejandro, hello, Alejandro. Puede ser on for, on for on first avenue. Entonces sería on la primera. On first, on first avenue. avenue. En Barrios Street. Díganme quién está. En la 3. Fíjense que en la 3 tengo mi duda. ¿Tienen la captura de pantalla, chicas? Sí. Yes, teacher. Una consulta en la 3 se tendría que agregar en la primera do o das. En la 3, do and das. Dice. Al we see sí. you. Yo no la tengo. We see you training room. No, solo tienen que usar la preposición in, on, or oh, in no. at. Ajá. Ok. Oh, okay. O sea que en este caso irían dos. Yes. Okay. Um, entonces. Sería at. Um, es in. in. La cuarta es in. La, la quinta es onda. Sí, sobre la 
on. Sí, la quinta es on. Y la sexta sería at. No, porque está el at. Ya está el at. Está el at. At. No, pues no, no sería at. Sería... Creo que es sí o what, no sé. Only preposition, right? In, on, and at. Auxiliary do and does, no. Sería in. La sexta. Ya estaría entonces. Uh -huh. Ya está. So you're ready? Finish? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Bueno, entonces nos vamos al, al grupo principal, yes. Ready? Group number one, please. Alejandra's group. Number one. In, on, or at? Uh, on. On First Avenue. Totally correct. Okay. Good. Group number two. Diana's group. In. In. Or. That is the number is three. three. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Qué oso. <laughs> okay. <laughs> que este libro lo pone aquí. Eh, well, por, forget it, forget it. Ya la regamos aquí. <laughs> the factory is located in. Correct. Thank you very much. Gracias por corregir el teacher también. Okay, number three, uh, the group of Claudia, please. Number three. At. At, because it's a specific place in the in the company, right? But you can also say in. in. But in my opinion, it's more appropriate. Aquí como que más apropiado at, en mi opinión, right? Or, Claudia? In. in. The group in. 
Okay, good, thank you. Now, number four, please, group number one. Alejandro's, no, Alejandra's group. Anna works in, in that is in town, correct. In town. In town, yes. In town, correct. And finally, my relatives go to the mall that is, ahí está equivocado, dice Roosevelt, pero es, sabemos que es Roosevelt Street, right? So in, on, and or at, group number two, that is Diana's group. In. Mm. En las calles como que son las tortugas ninjas están adentro de la calle. <laughs> ok. So sería la superficie, ¿es? ¿eh? So. Sería on. On, correct. On, right. And finally, Claudia's group, tell him that we are. Ah, ya está contestado. <ríe> Qué oso, pero esta vez no es el oso, no es del teacher, es del libro. Aquí dice, at the mini room. Yes. Ya está contestado. Yes. Ok. What time is it? Oh, ya nos pasamos un minuto, pero... Eh, quiero ver, como ya pasamos el ciclo de... de cómo se llama, de las entrevistas uno a uno, voy a repetir cinco entrevistas en total, ¿sí? Así es que esta noche me iba a quedar con Beatriz, pero no, no la veo, Beatriz. Beatriz. No, a esta hora ya le falla el internet a Beatriz y se desconecta, ¿verdad? Así es que voy a tener eh, este, una reenganche, como decimos, ¿verdad? Este, ¿Alguien quiere voluntario? Y si no, pues vamos a pedirle la siguiente en la lista, sería Dayana. Pero no sé si alguien más quiere quedarse. Serían ocho minutitos porque ya nos pasamos de las diez. ¿Alguien quiere quedarse? Bueno, entonces vamos con Dayana. Entonces, Dayana, usted seguiría en la lista. ¿Se puede okay. quedar diez minutos? Ok, very good. Entonces tomo la asistencia y nos vamos luego con Dayana. ¿Ready? Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Eh, Claudia. Present. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Diana. Present. Good. No se me va a ir, Diana. Grecia. Present. Have a good night. Karen. Present. Good bye night. Bye. Good night. Carla. Present. Bye good bye. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Beatriz. Lucía, Luis, present. Bye bye, Luis. Have a bye. good night. Verónica, present teacher. Okie dokie. Thank you, Verónica. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Alejandro, present. Okie. See you tomorrow, Alejandro. Nuria, present. See you. Take care. Paola. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. William. I'm here. Good night, okay. teacher. God bless you. Wilson. Wilson. Okay. Good. Okay, Diana. How are you? ¿Qué me le había pasado, Diana? La estamos extrañando. <laughs> sí, es que había tenido un problema personal. Ah, Entonces, bueno. si no, no me pude conectar. Bueno, y de hecho, hoy, hoy estuve hablando en mi trabajo sobre eso, por, por lo mismo que me llamaron la atención, ¿verdad? Por no haber participado, pero yo les expliqué a ellos. Bueno, bueno, pero qué bueno que ya está aquí de nuevo, ¿verdad? Esta semana ya sí, es la sí. última, es la más importante. Así que, eh, sí, ¿hay algún tema en especial que le gustaría que repasáramos? Eh, este, la, la pronunciación de las horas. ¿De las horas? Yo sé ah. que no tiene que nada que ver ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero no, sí me gustaría. No, está porque bien. Porque no estuve esa clase. No, está bien, vamos con la hora, permítanme, solo déjeme ubicar el, el, la presentación en la que vimos esto, permítanme un segundo. Okay. Vamos a ubicarnos aquí, documentos, inglés corporativo. Vaya, vamos a ver, daily routines, presente simple, preposiciones de tiempo, aquí estamos. 
Okay. Ahí lo tengo ahorita, Dajshanal. Ok. Ahorita lo comparto. Ok. No, no era este. Me equivoqué. ¿Cómo usar las proposiciones de tiempo? Creo que el anterior es. Permítame, Dayana. Ya. Ya quedé mal con usted. <risa> Qué oso, y casi no tenemos tiempo, permítame. Es que me confunde bastante que, que cuando va pasando el tiempo, va Ajá. cambiando la, la forma de decirla ahora, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es que tengo un material aquí, pero también en el libro, ya no me acuerdo qué unidad es, permítame, Information Question. Bueno, vamos a intentar con este. Es de la 3. La unidad 3, ¿verdad? Sí. Va. Ya me Porque cabal no estuve yo. Vamos a buscarlo. Sí, ajá, pero pero ya vi todos los archivos y no me aparece esa sería information question. No, voy a buscar el libro entonces, permítame. <ríe> ok. Ya me hice bolas. No, no, pero le puedo robar unos dos minutos más, ¿verdad? Excel? Sí, sí, sí. Va, está bien, está bien. Entonces déjeme buscar el libro, que ya lo había cerrado, por cierto. Ok. Sí. Me ha ido Justamente. mal. Justamente. Me ha ido mal en esta entrevista con usted, Dayana, disculpe. No, igual cuando me hizo la pregunta y estaba escribiendo en la 3. Ah, ah bueno. Vaya, aquí estamos. Contenidos. What's this? Where are you from? What do you do? No puede ser que no encuentre. No le aparece. Tiempo. No me aparece. Es que tiene que decir tiempo. Déjeme ver. What are you doing? Esta creo que es la unidad 5. Es, permítame. Ok, la página 32. Qué problema, qué problema, perdón. <ríe> Me da pena con usted, Diana. No, igual, yo también lo habría prevenido con el tema. No, no, está bien, pero ya, ya lo tenemos, ya lo tengo, no me preocupe ya. Ok. Hoy sí, finalmente. <ríe> Después de haber perdido cinco minutos de la entrevista, vamos ahorita <ríe> a compartir. Ahí estamos ya. Bye. Escuchemos el audio. Okay. Page 31, exercise 3, grammar focus. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after 1. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. It's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. It's a quarter to two. Ok, Diana, listen. Para comenzar las horas exactas, siempre se dice la palabra o'clock, que quiere decir en el reloj. ¿Sí? Decimos one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, etcétera, etcétera. La hora exacta, o'clock. O'clock. ¿Sí? sí. Si la hora va del 01 minutos al 09. Decimos la palabra O, oh, que quiere decir cero. Entonces decimos la una y cero uno, la una y cero dos, cero tres, cero cuatro, cero cinco, cero siete, ocho, nueve. Entonces decimos, por ejemplo, is one o oh five, is one o oh six, is one o oh seven, is one o oh, oh nine. Yeah. Sí. Pero, pero solo sería para el laxo de los primeros diez minutos. De los primeros diez minutos, totalmente correcto. Y oh, luego okay. usamos las palabras after o past. La palabra past. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir así, miren. Puedo decir is, it's five past one. ¿Sí? Se puede decir así también. After o past. Cuando usamos cuartos de hora, recuérdense que la hora tiene 60 minutos. Por lo tanto, la cuarta parte de 60 es 15. 
Entonces uh -huh. podemos decir, it's 1.15, es la 1 y 15. O podemos decir, it's a quarter after one. Es un cuarto pasado de la 1. Quarter after one. It's o, a quarter after one. One, correct. O it's a quarter past one. La palabra past y after son como sinónimos ahí. Se ¿Por qué? Porque past quiere decir pasada las. ¿Sí? Y after Ajá. quiere decir después de. Entonces yo puedo decir un cuarto después de la una o un cuarto pasado de la una. Daría lo mismo, ¿verdad? Da lo mismo, sí. Igual que en okay. español, da, da lo mismo. Entonces, en inglés, after y past. Y este, mire, one thirty quiere decir la una y treinta, pero también podemos usar esta expresión. ¿verdad? It's half. Half quiere decir la mitad. Ajá. One. Miren. Hay dos formas de decir esta hora. La una y treinta o treinta o la mitad, ¿no? Half pasado uh -huh. de la una. ¿Sí? Ok. Y por último, cuando ya empezamos a pasarnos de la mitad de la hora, empezamos a decir eh, una y treinta y cinco, una y cuarenta, una y cincuenta. O usamos la preposición to. Quiere decir para las o hacia las. En este caso, la una y cuarenta es igual que decir veinte para las dos. La una y cuarenta y cinco equivale a decir a un cuarto para las dos. Bien, esta preposición to es cuando ya nos pasamos del treinta. Bueno, por veinte para las dos, sino que is twenty to two. Ambos se puede. Ah, ok, ok. Digamos, sí, ajá, que eso, eso es lo que me confundí, porque okay. eh, para, para cada tiempo. Sí, yo entiendo, no se preocupe, aquí está el repaso. Igual la okay. grabación queda para que usted la practique en la plataforma okay, okay. también, ¿ok? Dayana, it's a pleasure, de, de verdad me alegro mucho que se haya incorporado nuevamente y que esté con nosotros esta semana, oiga. Sí, sí, aquí vamos a estar toda la semana. Okay. Thank you, God bless you, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.